So the first case, number one, we'll start off with the basics. This is a 50-year-old female with iron deficiency anemia. So you have lots of biopsy fragments, and even at low power, these biopsies of the stomach look too blue, right? We can see even at 2X or 1X that there are lymphoid aggregates in many of these tissue fragments. And if we go around to different pieces, we can see in this one, for example, even though it's embedded so there's epithelium on both sides, we can appreciate that the mucosa is diffusely expanded by a chronic inflammatory cell infiltrate. And when we look a little more carefully, that infiltrate is mostly what? Plasma cell rich, right? So we have a plasma cell predominant inflammatory infiltrate expanding the spaces between the pits and the glands in the deeper mucosa. Overall though, I would say that most of this inflammation is more superficially oriented under the foveolar epithelium with relative sparing of the deeper glands. And if we look a little more closely, we can see that this infiltrate is almost exclusively uh, uh, plasma cells as far as the mononuclear cell component goes, not much in the way of intraepithe or of lymphocytosis, except for a few scattered intraepithelial lymphocytes. Most of the mononuclear cells in the, in the lamina propria are plasma cells, and they're accompanied by neutrophils that are in some areas infiltrating the epithelium. So even, unfortunately, uh, on these scanned slides, we can't really see the organisms, but at low power, intermediate, and high power, the top thing that we should be thinking about with this superficial plasma cell-rich inflammatory infiltrate in the antrum, in the antrum is H. pylori-associated gastritis. And in fact, there are several organisms. I think this is one over here. There are a few down here. They're just not well visualized. Uh, in the scan slide. So when we have a, a chronic inflammatory infiltrate, chronic gastritis in the uh, uh, antral biopsies or in the body, the two big things to think about would be H. pylori or autoimmune gastritis. And so we'll talk about those two right off the bat, and then we're gonna leave those alone and talk about some of the uh, uh, mimics of these more common forms of gastritis. So this first case is just a pretty straightforward example of uh, H. pylori associated gastritis. I'll just mention that uh, in a biopsy, when you see lots of lymphoid aggregates, like we have here, with germinal centers in the antrum, it's almost always gonna be H. pylori associated. So if you, see, if you don't do upfront stains and you don't see or H. pylori immunostains and you don't see bacteria in a case like this, this would be a situation in which you'd want to order those stains.